Okay, that was really fast because I'm already back. Here we are. Let's see if we can get that back in focus. Yes. Um, like I said, I forgot the flow troll, so I'm kind of wondering if it's going to be different. So I'm going to first do that background paint like that. Where's my little pellet knife? There you are. This one will do because all the other ones are in the uh, in the bucket with water. After this video, I'm going to do a big cleanup. So nice and smooth. And now I won't forget to put first put a little base in there where I'm going to you know go over it with the uh, syringe now I need a brush good thing I got a lot of brushes so we can do the sides that's nice and smooth and I will have to um, torch again because I got some uh, little bubbles in my white base color do want to get them out before I pour over it or squirt over it with the syringe. Okay, nicely covered like we like it. Yes. Now, there's a lot of air bubbles in here. Oh, look at that. They're gone. That's it. Nice and smooth. Okay, so we got that covered. Now the syringe. Now someone asked me to show how I did that. I just put my finger on there and oh yeah, I was gonna use that, that, and that. Let's start with a tiny little bit. But I want the uh, green coming out a little bit better than I did in the previous one because I'd like to do just one squirt of the uh, one squirt across the uh, canvas and of course a little bit of dark then the green again because we want the green coming out I'm pouring it along the side maybe that'll help now from up high a little bit more dark turquoise turquoise that's enough that'll be more than enough because the previous one was 50 centimeters long and that worked so now what I do is just put this in just a little bit so I can turn it up let the paint go down see it already has a little bit of pressure and then I press it in until it comes out see that okay had to clean it off a little bit now I've got to make sure I don't contaminate my own canvas. Oh yeah, i got to put that paint in there. I think I'll do one straight down the middle, like that. Get rid of the little air bubbles. That's it. Now here we go. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, maybe putting it on a white bed of paint wasn't such a good idea. That is nice. That's very minimalistic, right? Let's see if it has some cells. Oh yeah, that's the that was it. Me forgetting the uh, me forgetting the the flow troll. Now you can see what flow troll does to the paint. So it just makes those cells pop just a little bit more, as you can see. But I'm not satisfied with it. So, and I still have a full syringe. I know it's nice and minimalistic, but who cares? who cares? I want a really big thing going on like that. I'm gonna really tilt it all over the place. That's it. I'm going to fill the whole canvas. 
that's it. Up here a little. That looks nice and crazy, right? I do like the syringe, guys. It's kind of fun. That is really fun, fun, fun. Okay, can I live with that? I'm looking at it with a very, very close eye. Looking if I could like the cells. Yes, I like those cells. I like this bit. Don't really like that bit. That's where I'd like to have a little syringe so I could put another one on top of it. Let's see. I still have a little, 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 little bit of paint in here. That's better. See, now it has that green thing going in there. Okay, I think I can uh, live with this. Maybe a little cell action here. Yep. Some going over the sides. I'll leave it like this. Yeah, I think um, because if I want to add some uh, dots, I would add the dots in this bit here, the green bit. It's just a little bit too big for my liking. So I would add them right over here and maybe just there. Maybe silver. What do you guys think? Silver would look really good with these colors. They're all kind of on the cold side, so silver would look really cool. Or maybe, oh no, yeah, I do. I think I have some, um, the silver leaf. I have that. I might put silver leaf on there. Uh, we'll see. I'm going to put this one away for a bit. And that's the close-up. A lot of stuff going on. Not one of the ones I would say, yippee, but it's okay. So now I do have a little on the table. Let us put that on our photo paper. Oh, again, I got a lot of uh, people asking about the photo paper again. So what I use when I use Yubo, I use um, 235 grams. That's pretty thick. And when I use this, this is photo paper. It's waterproof. And I'm going to swipe it anyway because I don't like it. So it's waterproof. And that's why it stays nice and flat even when it's wet and it dries up just as flat as I'm doing the swipe now so that's you know just um, a lot easier because when it goes when it warps that's not that fun, much fun now that's a blah uh, I'll keep it but I'm not totally um, and I'm thinking maybe the heat is already um, manipulating my paints because um, I had that last year too. Can you remember that we did, um, I did a whole lot of pouring and the cells didn't want to come and all that kind of stuff that was with the Liquitex. And then all of a sudden we figured out that it was due to, oh, that's going to sell. It was due to the warmth because I was uh, pouring upside, uh, upstairs. That is beautiful. This one I'm going to keep. I'll give you a close up. There's, that's, oops. There you go. That's some pretty nice cell work. I might cut out a little bit like that. Like this oval. That'll look cool. That would look really cool. Now, if I only could get a little other color in there, I'd be really happy. Let's see. Let's try that. But um, like I was uh, saying, last year, uh, upstairs is really hot. It was really, really hot. And although I do have air conditioning, I didn't want to put that on all day while I was upstairs. Because uh, our electricity is pretty...
pretty expensive. So um, then we started experimenting with uh, PVA and uh, all sorts of um, mixes that would hold up in the heat. And then we discovered that the Vallejo pretty much, probably because it's from Spain, it really um, did a good job in the heat upstairs. So that's when I went and bought a lot of Vallejo stuff and sort of got hooked on it. Okay, let me clean off my little pellet knife. Clean, yes. That's a little bit more color. Yep, that's it. I like it. I like those uh, colors together. If I were to do a pendant, I would cut it out like this. The, the big cells at the bottom, the little ones on top, and this in the middle, that would look really cool. Right? There you go. Yeah, that would look kind of cool. Sometimes the colors, uh, you know, I'm just... Then I, I can't get my eyes off it because if you look closely... If, if you look through the uh, the white, you see blue going to turquoise, going to green, and that's sort of what really makes me go, wow, I love those colors. Okay, doing one more, promise, only one, and then I'm going to stop. So I'm going to try and do the same. Let's do some dark. I'm going to take the colors and go from dark to light. Like that. And a little lighter. Oh, and I know I still have some really light blue from the dots I did this morning. That's it. And then between we're going to put little dots of green. And if this is really pretty, then I'll do another one. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm thinking that might be really a really cool effect what I'm doing right now. Normally I don't take as much time. I just, you know, put the paint on there and swipe it. So that's the white. A little bit more. Got to go straight over it. Clean off the little pellet knife. Oh, maybe I should get my big one. clean and not totally now it is okay Oop, hold it in my hand now let's put it down here Ew. okay I'll hold it up when I torch it nice that's kind of different I think I scraped it too um, you know too much paint off the uh... oh gotta make room for this Okay, one more, <laughs> gotta do it. Okay, I'll do it fast. Green, this nice blue. I think that really goes well together, those two colors. And a little bit of light. Zip, 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 zip. And the dark, because I like how the dark turns out. That's it. Then I'm going to swipe it with this. This is Vallejo, leftover Vallejo. That's Vallejo fluid with Floetrol. Let's see what that does. Oh, 
Ooh, nice color. Meh, don't like it. See, that's when I, I don't like the swipe when, uh, when the cells do that. They're not nice and round. I don't know why it does that sometimes, but I'm not liking it. I do like a little bit of that, but not, not enough to keep it. Let's do this. That's kind of cool. something different um, because I'm saving up to do a uh, ocean themed uh, collage so we'll keep this okay I promise this is the last one and you know why I can promise that because this is the last of my photo paper then I have to cut some more <laughs> that's why okay this is absolutely the last one gonna be a little wild here on the wild side Ooh, maybe I should have put in some uh, let's see what's this I can smell uh, I know exactly what what the smell is like if you have Windsor and Newton or Vallejo someone said it stinks well it does not stink it smells like candy and really a faint little candy smell really sweet but it does not stink it smells of course that was two swipes maybe I shouldn't have done that but we'll see okay we're done this was the last of the photo paper gotta make some new cut some new ones so this is it Okay, guys, it's been a really nice weekend, and I've had a lot of fun with you guys. And if you want to sponsor my channel, this is it. This is the link to my sponsor thing. Um, I'm going to do some serious uh, resting up because I'm a little bit tired. I think we've had a fun weekend, but I think I'd like to... Oh, wait a minute before you turn it off. If you haven't seen it yet, I just saw a show. Um, it's 10 episodes and it's called Lost in Space. Now, a lot of people, I was hesitant to watch it because usually I'm not, you know, when it says Lost in Space, I'm thinking, okay, you know, I'm not that interested. But someone at work said, ah, you should watch it. It's, it's kind of nice. And I'm telling you, from the first episode, I was hooked. Because it's sort of like um, uh, E.T., a little bit of E.T. in it, and a little bit of, well, I don't know. It was, really a, I, it was a really good show, and I watched it all, all 10 episodes, and they're not short. They're not like 10, 20 minute ep, ep, oh, 20, or 10, but it's an hour, I think, per episode, but it was a really good TV show, so if you want to see something and you don't have anything to watch lost in space that's it it's new it's you know not from 1999 or something it's it's just one or two years old so that's the one you want to watch okay guys gotta go love you all to pieces see you later